Guess who just got back today? Welcome everyone to Barry from Domino's favourite football podcast, the only fans football podcast, coming to you live from the Potato Wad Studios. On today's episode, we discuss the difference between the ghetto and the gateau. Cran and Adzi discuss what makes a good pizza and an even better football jersey. We have the return of Get It Out this week, sponsored by Atalanta versus AC Milan. We hope you enjoy the podcast wherever you're listening, and be sure to follow our Instagram, Spotify, YouTube, and Twitter. Take it easy. Hit it, Stevie. <laughs> My spanky senses tell me this is gonna get fucking tasty, baby. I will love it if we beat them. Love it. There's a slice of cheese with Nico Giantopolis. I have a dream. Arnie Cut. Bartler. Eh. Uh, the fella in the green and white short. The guy's up in the joy of us to be put back in their cells. <laughs> <laughs> If you stop waffling, we might get some work done. He has the goo blood. He has the goo blood. Get out! Get out, man! You ain't that. We're rigging! Torres! Let me add a little bit of spice. To that. Is he a fucking spice? If my grandmother had wheels, she would have been a bike. I think I'm a special one. I'm the normal one. I never knew Stug were that good. Hello everyone <laughs> and welcome to episode number 11 of the OnlyFans football podcast. 11 weeks in. How many weeks more to go? I don't know. I think this is technically our 12th episode. Ah, yeah. But we had a special. The meme ad special. The meme ad special. I, I'm thinking of the name of next week's special. The Quitar special. I think it's only right. Uh, oh, we'll, <laughs> we'll name it the Mick McCarthy special or something. <gasps> special announcement. Uh, oh, we'll get on to it now soon. But um, yeah, welcome everybody to episode 11. The What, what do you want to call it this week? We have we have two conflicting names, don't we? Uh, I was going to call it Benucci, but I'm going to think Wissa. Yeah, we'll go with the Yohan Wissa, just purely because it's a sensational name. Got the winner today for Brentford against West Ham. West Ham. And funny you say today, this is our first ever Sunday record. Very strange, on the Sabbath day. Yeah, to it have is. An only a, fans d- a day of rest, usually. <laughs> but here we are, talking spoof new football. <laughs> 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 It's great to be back in person and not on Zoom. On Zoom and I'm yeah. actually a guest at Adzi's house. More, Adzi. You're a welcome guest. Yeah. You're not a guest, no, you're family. <laughs> um, we have to name the studio. We'll, we'll name the studio, will we? This studio? Yeah, yeah. Go As in the kitchen. Go for we'll it. name it uh, the Potato Wad Studio. Shout out to the <laughs> Diamond Chipper. <laughs> um, <laughs> For anyone that's seen the story of Potato Wadges. Recorded live from the Potato Wadge <laughs> studio. Yeah, Potato Wadges made a return on Friday. And they weren't the only return on Friday. Do you like that crowd? Shells are going up. Up we go. Back to the Premier Division. Back where we belong. And by God, what a night Friday night was. I'm just going to get into my week, crown if you don't mind. Yeah. Yeah. How was your week? It was a fucking unbelievable week, Jeff. It was class. That was more of a rhetorical question. There. It was a great like week. It. it was a great week. <laughs> like, of course it was a great week for you. It was, um, like, you go back to start, like, uh, we thought we're recording now because both of our schedules are a bit fucked. Hold on, take this up today. More adsies than mine. I'm not, I'm not really doing much, to be honest with you. <laughs> You're like Tyson Fury. You're a dosa! <laughs> um, and, yeah, so the, the weeks are long. Went out Wednesday in Minute. And there was a tweet on Minute. There was a tweet from a Twitter page. I don't want to start a beef, but I know. But called Minute Confessions. And basically, I think the, the premise of it is people sending tweets to, uh, people sending messages to this page like, ah, oh, the library's so full. <laughs> All this kind of muck. And there was a tweet they put up the other day. And anyways, and it was like, oh my God, Roost was so packed. Uh, the club should be open. Uh. I had a great night on Wednesday. I had an amazing <laughs> night Wednesday. It was class. The whole course went there. We we're all there. All the lads there now. Like Father Ted. Cracking week. Um, was Kev from Clare there? Kev from Clare thankfully wasn't there. Yeah. <laughs> Buddy, that's Kev if you're listening. You're you're an esteemed member of the OnlyFans community. Um, <laughs> yeah, Thursday was a bit off. It was a bit hanging. But uh, Friday. Oh man, what a day. Oh, what a day. Went to the match on Friday night. 
and I was oh my god I was so nervous for her but um, all the nerves were in vain we got the job done we're back up and up there I've, I've had moments in football that have been at games one of them I dropped it away personally means an awful lot I'm not going to get into it mm-hmm. um, there was the the, the Divock Origi game the reason why I love him at home to everything scoring the last minute but Friday night was right up there with friends and family at the game and it was uh, fucking amazing I have to say great night you know, how was your weekend anyways? I've seen Shay turned out Shay turned out <laughs> yeah he's, he's, he's according to him according to Shay he's probably listening he's going to buy a season ticket oh. now that I've said it he has to but um, yeah everyone came out Shay is great sport not only to Shells but to me so oh it's the live for you the live for you're too nice <laughs> you're too good to me uh, the Norwich of the uh, the <laughs> Irish League is, is coming back up it's fairly accurate like it's all it, it, look at put it this way it, where's it, your deal you though where, where are I I'm deal you I'm deal you without the money and the good field I would just eat loads of food um, yeah let, let, I just hope we fucking stay up to be honest with you <laughs> Terrible shame to go back down. And ah, he's on. He's it would on. be a great indictment on the club. Like it would be so typical of shells. But uh, yeah, I'm hopeful. I'm, I'm somewhat hopeful that we might still. I think we will. Let's see what happens. Ah, yeah. Have to leave it at then. How was your week? <laughs> I have a few things written down here just to remind myself. I, I how just, week just, was. I didn't look the notes. I, I didn't because you're hiding them from me, like a little child. You not touch my notes. <laughs> um. You said you sent me a text last night saying I have a few scales that you tell you from the week gone, um, and they're good. So I'll be the judge of that. No, my best. Go on. Let, let me know. Let me go. Come on. Um, how was your week, Kieran Jared Joseph McGrath? How was your week? I tell you what, Gen- <laughs> Jared Joseph McGrath. Is that your name? It's fairly accurate. You just missed the Michael. Jesus Christ, wasn't yeah. far off. Yeah. If you want Cur- if you want Cran's PPS number, just send a DM and <laughs> Instagram when you give it to you. <laughs> but anyway, Adzi, I think I've watched more bake offs than I have uh, <laughs> <laughs> than I have football in the last week, I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't blame it. Um so Tuesday was absolutely rough because obviously Chiesa just done a number on Chelsea what a goal, by the way. It must have been a heavy week on it because that was Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was Wednesday. Fuck. And the bake off was on Tuesday. Uh, that's why. Yeah. But I mi- actually missed the bake off Tuesday because I was out. So it's just been a very busy week. A new bar. Uh, uh, just. Oh, it's on my mind. What a place in DCU. In DCU? Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, the cans are awful, but great crack all the same. And um, anyways, I I did watch bake off eventually. Jurgen, shout out to Jurgen. Jürgen from the Black Forest. He cooks a great Black Forest ghetto. And ghetto. Sorry. <laughs> I meant ghetto. <laughs> He's from the Black Forest ghetto, according to him. He actually is from the Black Forest. So, uh, yeah, Jürgen's great. He's got Starbreaker. Uh, in the ghetto. <laughs> he's got Starbreaker two weeks in a row now. So, great stuff from the so, German. So, he's technically a master baker. He is, yeah. And... <laughs> He doesn't. That just went completely over your head. <laughs> I actually on Thursday I went to James Bond, and funny story about that day. I was going to go with Rory. All right, I was I, I was finished my lecture, went to the new bar straight away. Had about four or five cans. Rory texts me. I put something up in my story. Rory texts me saying, "Are you on the piss?" <laughs> and I was like, "No." I swear, man, I'm not on the piss. I'm not that. Because we were meant to see James Bond at ten to nine. It was on ten to nine, and I was on the piss at five. And Rory texts me, and he was he was like, "Me, ma." Texts me, and he was like, "Are you on the piss?" And I was like, nah, "I'm only having a couple. I'll be all right." Just the one I took. <laughs> Ended up having about five. <laughs> Stumbled out of college, got in the bus, went home, had a bit of grub, and then got back out, went to Lighthouse Cinema. Lovely Where cinema. Where's that out? Of Smithfield. Oh, well, okay. Uh, very fancy. Yeah, a few I, I, I yuppies. I've been in before. A few yuppies around the place. You so know R- Rory fitted in well. <laughs> <laughs> Wild fitted in well. <laughs> Wild Jay. <laughs> oh, I'm going to keep it well. But, uh, yeah, we went in there, right? Had a pint of Guinness. Oh. For six euro, six euro Jesus for a point Christ. of Guinness, man. That's, that is extortionate. That's and it was it was piss as well. They were having it in a plastic cup. I was about to say it wouldn't have been a proper point. Oh, I'm telling you now, man. Anyway, bit of popcorn went down well. James Bond, great stuff. All bangs and whistles as usual, and it was, it was a nice trip. And then, obviously, yesterday was the twenty first of my mates. Ben Casey, Mr. Ben Casey. Oh fuck! 
I meant to give Ben a shout out. Actually. So it's just, his 21st. Yeah, so it's his 21st. Happy birthday, Ben. But can I, can I, yeah, 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 go for it. <laughs> so on Tuesday afternoon at Minute, I was walking through campus with two of the boys. Shout out to Michal and Dave. And um, we were just having a grand old chat, just talking shop, talking about college, whatever, whatever. And just walking past the Phoenix and all her is, Adzi, is that you? I know, I, I, like, we're, I know a lot of people in Minute, so it genuinely could have been anyone. And when I looked around, I seen this fellow, I was like, who the f- are you? <laughs> and I just goes, uh, what's the story? He goes, I recognize your voice from the podcast. I was like, no way. <laughs> oh, sensational. But shout out to Ben. Anyways, yeah, one of my that mates. made my day after. Like, I probably texted yeah. you and all. I was like, cran. You want to see what's up to happen. Hilarious, <laughs> hilarious. But yeah, happy birthday, Ben. Yeah, and I got a selfie from Anthony later with Ben. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it was his 21st yesterday, right? I have a, st- a story from this as well because his dad went out to get pizzas for his 21st. His dad's name is Brian, okay? Shout out to Brian. Shout out to Brian. Might be listening. Brian Tista. Yeah, come on. He went out to get pizza from Domino's, right? Okay. So th- they went to collect them under his name. They see these two drunk lads walking out with six pepperoni pizzas, which is what they ordered, or six pizzas. They didn't know they were pepperoni. Or something. Well, they walked out with this, they were stumbling around. Goes into the Domino's, okay? They, they say, sorry, we're so sorry. We're after mistaken Brian for Barry. And Barry is after taking Brian's order. Barry got six <laughs> fucking pizzas as well. And the, and the best part is, all right, they come back with Barry's order, okay? He, because he, he had to take Barry's order or else they'd be waiting another hour to get yeah, pizza. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they took Barry's order. Call this Barry Gate, okay? <laughs> was there six pizzas? No. no. Oh there was about God. 15 pizzas, okay? 15. From Barry? Yeah. Barry mistook six pizzas for about 15 Oh my pizzas. God. The absolute dope. You was made out like a bandit there. Yeah. But guess what was on the pizzas? And I literally Ham said. Ham pineapple. I said walking in the door. If Barry eats pineapple, he's an absolute prick. I fucking <laughs> hate pineapple. I literally said. All that the to homies them. hate pineapple. They open the pizzas. There's about six of them have pineapple uh, ham on them. Oh my god! It's a good thing he's had nine of the pizzas though. <laughs> I don't know what you're giving out for. But Barry, shout out to Barry. Barry Gate, I like to call Barry it. Barry saved you, to be honest. I'll be down. I, I, Barry, shout out, mate. If you're ever looking for another fifteen pizzas to give away, <laughs> pop down to me. <laughs> well, uh, well I, I, I mean, I knew straight away when you asked me what was on it. I knew it'd be pineapple. Yeah. What is your go-to pizza order, by the way? I like just a plain pepperoni. I think that if you can perfect that, a pinch of joint can perfect a plain pepperoni. You know it's the right one. Back page do a good one as well. Pepperoni and trees are they? Yeah. I usually get jalapenos on mine as well. <laughs> <laughs> You're laughing, but that's, that's the way I say it. Yeah. Jalapenos. Jalapenos, yeah. yeah. I agree. No, you don't. You don't. We didn't agree last time. You call them, uh, as you, they're called uh, jalapenos. I was like, no, crown the jalapenos. We're getting to the game. <laughs> this it's, good, been, it's good to be back, isn't it? Uh, it's been a great chat. Yeah. Well, yeah, we'll get into the games. We'll, we'll start off the early kickoff. And there was no <laughs> court and ears involvement this no. week. And anyways, we get into the game. 1-1. One, one. Manchester United. I don't want to say everything in Scouse accent because I don't like them. But everything. Uh, one all and Old Trafford. And Man United were so... Gina Mac, how would you describe I have them? a question for you, actually. Do you know the way this is one all? Okay. Who would you have allegiance to as a Liverpool fan? Would you be more if, if, prone if, to Everton? If you United? asked me who would I prefer to win Everton Man United, I'd prefer the stadium to be bombed. <laughs> no, obviously not. <laughs> uh, I just oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good answer though. Jesus Christ, I don't want that to happen. Um, I probably would lean towards Everton more than Man United though. I know more people who support Man United than I do Everton. So... Um, yeah, there's that. But yeah, United were really like lethargic or something. I don't know what it was. They had Martial playing off. It was the left, yeah, playing off the left. Cavani up front. I think it was Greenwood playing on the right. They weren't great at all. They panned to the bench and had Ronaldo, San- Sancho, I was going to call him Sanchez, Sancho, Pogba, Jesse Lingard. They had all these players on the bench. I was looking at them. I was like, if Ronaldo, Ronaldo's not playing another game for United for another two, three weeks with the international break, two weeks, I think, mm. he's after scoring his last five games. Where is the tactics behind dropping him? Like, 
You're not trying to keep him fit for Portugal. Why would, why would Oli care about Portugal and who they're playing? Because I wouldn't. He, he, he has, Ronaldo has to start for me anyways. Pogba, yeah, he's had a great season, so he definitely would have made a difference as well. Um, the goal itself for Martial, he had a chance early on that he headed over. Anyways, the goal was good. <clears throat> Ball in by Bruno to uh, Martial, and Martial saying that Jordan Pickford had small little arms, and the ball just went over his head. Good finish, though. It was a good goal. The Demary Gray, by the way, he plays a big part in the goal for everything. So they were on the counter from a corner, and he gets it into Ducore. And Ducore, I swear to God, he takes Luke Shaw of Manchester with that touch. He just sent him flying. Brilliant player, isn't he? Into Townsend. Yeah, he's a great player. Yeah. He's really performed this season as well. Into Townsend. Townsend with a right foot. Lovely goal. We'll just get into it now. What a celebration. The, the cheek of him. The cheek of him to go. The cheek of the score. Away to Manchester United. When Ronaldo on the pitch. To then do the sue. And then get his jersey off him as well. <laughs> He's risking getting battered, isn't he? Oh, God. He was now fairness. Look, at we've had last week. We had Martinez shit housing him. Mm. Unbelievable. Um, really enjoyed it. Really enjoyed the game, actually, to be fair. It, was, it, was, it wasn't great, but it wasn't terrible. Tom Davis in the last minute. What a baller. Gets in on goal. Should have buried it, didn't he? He should have lashed it in. And all the time in the world as well. Like, he could have taken another two or three touches before he passed it, like. And maybe instead and of a scored. Tom Davis, done a Tom Daly and died. Yeah. <laughs> You've had that written down, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it just wasn't a good finish. Anyways, and uh, I think quick shout out to Demary Gray. Two million, I think he cost everything. What a sign for me, signing the season so far. But uh, yeah, and that's that. Actually, I want to go straight into the Norwich Burnley game. Oh, yeah. It was a beauty of this game. Oh, boy. <laughs> what a game. Nil all. I seen I, I was looking at the fixtures obviously as, as we usually do most weekends we're talking to each other I looked at the fixtures on Friday night before the Shells game and I seen Norwich and Burnley and I, I'm telling you now anyone that's listening I'd have I'd have put your life on that finishing the law oh my god it was the worst game of football I swear I think I've ever watched in my life oh there's not much to say about it like the highlights of match of the day I was watching it with my Alma outside and um Your poor man. Yeah, I, I don't know I don't know why I put it through it, but I was watching the match with my man anyways and Dave on match day last night. And all the highlights of the game, every single highlight was someone being smashed up. Every highlight was just someone being smashed up. That's what happens at Durf Moore. And it was like it was like watching Bournley against Bournley. It's not something I ever want to experience again. There was actually, there was a good bit there. I'm sorry for rambling on, but I was genuinely fuming. At, I was in the height of looking at match of the day. I was laughing. I was hilarious, like, but I was angry. There was a bit where Kabak gets the ball and he, be, <laughs> he gets past about seven Bournemouth players and he's in a goal. And Jay Rodriguez just comes in and goes <laughs> and smashes him up. I see him. There were six yellow cards for Burnley. It was like a dog fight. <laughs> and then Tim Krill. Oh, God. Man, that was beautiful. Oh. Just a stone called stunner to the face. And like, the referee was like, no penalty. It's like, he's after, never mind a penalty. He's after assaulting him. He's nearly after murdering the poor fella. If it's not it's not a penalty. It's a it's a prison sentence for a couple of years. Like he's after knocking him out. Didn't he give a free out and everything? Yeah. No, he, I think he gave a corner for it. <laughs> but I have no idea how. He just got fucking wellied in the face. He literally came in with a Superman punch. And he, I was I was really surprised because um who was it? Was it who was it got punched? I think it was um Charlie Taylor or some irrelevant mediocre player. Um I'm surprised he wasn't knocked out like I'm genuinely surprised he wasn't hurt like I mean there's not much protecting him there really other than a bit of spit but um, there was a part of the game actually and this is why I found it so funny was like so say there was about 10 clips in the match of the day right 8 of them were the players smashing each other up right and one was Norman nearly scoring down goal and the last highlight of the whole thing and I, I swear to god I feel it encapsulated the game beautifully I swear, it, it couldn't have been a more perfect ending. The ball comes in from the right. Oh, stop, Andy. They're already <laughs> dead. The ball comes in from the right. And Dwight McNeil has all the time in the world and more to just volley it into the back of the net. And what does he do? He tries to take a touch. And the touch he tries to take just goes out for a goal kick. And I swear to God, it was the perfect ending to the most unperfect game. Um, 
I don't know if I was angry or I had a great time, but it was definitely somewhere in between. I Thoughts? think it was the best worst match you could ever watch. Yeah, absolutely. It's a good way of putting it. Yeah. It's like something in the Phoenix Park, but worse. <laughs> I'm never going to get that time back in my life. Like I've done, everyone does make mistakes, does stupid things in life. One of the worst things I've ever done in life was sitting down willingly to watch Borny and Norwich. That's what? it. Is that your rant over? Red? That's my rant over. Yeah. I don't know any of the other three o'clock games. Just you know, well, no. I'll run through them quickly. Yeah, we will. I want to talk about Leeds Watford very yeah. quickly. Um, weren't they with a nice goal? But mm. oh, the, great finish actually. Great finish. Yeah. yeah. But obviously Leeds won the game. But the main talking point obviously is Hisco has been sacked today yeah. on Sunday. What do you think of that? Um, I mean, I'm not. Su- I'm not surprised. Really? No, Watford do it every season. Yeah, yeah. but they sacked two managers in, t- in 2020. Like, yeah. So it's hardly surprising that they've sacked him. I think it's a bit harsh in the circumstances because, like, they have to lose one nil away to Leeds, and Leeds are a tough place to go to, anyways. But they've been generally all right. I think I don't think they've been dramatic. Like Norwich have been really bad. In comparison to uh, Watford, I think Watford have actually done all right. Yeah, they've exceeded my expectations, anyways. Well, you're seven games in, and you sacked the manager. Like, what the hell? Mm. It's um, it's I don't know how to explain it, but yeah, it's stupid in my opinion. Anyways. The owners have trigger fingers, don't they? Yeah, it's like their their children are in, in charge of the club. <laughs> <laughs> they're they're just give everyone just give everyone a shot of it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but yeah. Silly decision, and um, yeah, look, I think they they usually are right, aren't they? I think. We seen with Chelsea last year, the new manager bounce. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if he came in. They went on a run. Their first games against Liverpool, so you can expect them to beat us. Anyways, in the manager's first game, it's typical. It'll be typical Liverpool for it to happen as well. But yeah, anything else? Uh, I just want to say, finish up. God bless Hisco. Go, yeah. Best of luck, me. Oh, yeah. Good luck in the job center. Whatever you are. You might go back to Spain. Is he from Spain? Yeah. You might go back to Spain. I go back to Spain. Bit of Spain. A bit of Spanish sun in October. Bit of paella. Ooh. a siesta in the afternoon I take all of these things now rather than what we're doing <laughs> <laughs> anyways Chelsea Southampton yeah you can uh, take this way sure I'll have a little talk about you were saying you were watching it oh, I wasn't even watching it I was in work I was watching it but I was having an awful time doing it well the first half I thought it was a very rocky game for Chelsea um, it wasn't a case of we were in control the whole time I just thought it was a strange lineup. Like it lost his cheeks there in Rakovic, and then you had Callum Hudson Adoy, who hasn't been good, but also hasn't got played, you know. Mm. And then you had Chilwell coming in as well, and Chalaba starting, so he had a bit of fresh legs. I think they performed well. Chalaba had a nice goal, diving header, lost his cheek, good assist. I think lost his cheek has a bit of class about him. He has something about him, um, but he played very well in the game. What can I say, you know? Went 1-0 up, and then obviously the penalty incident happened. Stupid decision by Chilwell to dive in. Don't know what he was doing, but you know what? I take him over Alonso any day of the week. Alonso was awful. Mm. I, I went on a rant about him last week. Not, not again this week. Um, And then, obviously, the red card incident happened. Stupid challenge by Ward Proust. Yeah. Contender for cut of the week. Potential cut of the week, yeah. Yeah, and Jorginho, he's actually angling to pass the ball back and Ward Prowse comes through the back of him stupid tackle like well, leg breaking tackle and I, I heard people in work today saying it wasn't a penalty or it wasn't a red card I was like what are you talking about mate no. during the circumstances it was after that Chelsea donated the last few minutes Werner got his goal I thought he was very good sorry it's a red card every day of the week by the way yeah like I, I, I can't understand looking at that and going ah it's grand like he's after Take him out with the ankle. It's a, it's a red card every day. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And then obviously the third goal was scored by Chilwell. So mm. Chilwell redeemed himself in a sense, I suppose. It was the best sequence of football <laughs> I've seen all weekend. The new FIFA came out on Friday. But that was the most FIFA-like thing I've ever seen in my life. It was Lukaku who missed the chance for us. Lukaku hit the bar. Lukaku hit the bar. Went back to Aspilicueta. Aspilicueta hit the bar. Chilwell just smash in and to be fair to at the, an angle at an angle and it didn't really look like it was in obviously it yeah. was goal line techno came in and it was in but goal line technology dum, dum, dun, 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 dun. I'm doing techno music there. <laughs> it's not really techno music but um, a little teaser for next week by the way <laughs> <laughs> oh you naughty naughty 
You're teasing me. Um, that was a uh, chill one when he hit the shot. That's what he was saying. And uh, McCarthy tried to save it. And it was unfortunate for him to be fair. But, uh, a little teaser for next week, by the way. <laughs> McCarthy. <laughs> <laughs> we move on yeah please do. a 3-1 win oh, for Chelsea yeah. top of the league by the way oh. um, half of the <laughs> <laughs> the way you did that <laughs> oh. but we drew with City and he was lost half five kickoff <laughs> Brighton versus it's a half five kickoff already is it yeah I feel like we're missing again I feel like Newcastle Wolves in Newcastle oh how could we miss Huang how could we miss Hendrick scoring the worst goal ever? <laughs> I thought it was Gaz. You call him Jeffrey. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's that my name. I was, I was, I was, I was calling him at the Eve. Yeah, Jeffrey. I didn't know it was that. No, I'd say. Um, probably because I was just hoarding abuse after that. I was like, yeah, Huang. What a player. I was ah, oh, I was absolutely elated for him. But yeah, the first goal. Um, do you want to take it away? It was a good goal, wasn't it? Yeah, nice little pass from... Uh, I think it was Jimenez. Jimenez, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think he's just doing him. And I think it was a left footed finish from Wang. Or right foot. Right foot into the corner. Yeah. And yeah. The just second one was left foot. Clinical. Very clinical. Mm. Oh, Wang is, is looking like a great player. Mm. I thought he was a meme. Has he seen something? No, um, to be fair. Like, for, again, we talked about FIFA a few minutes ago, but anyone who played FIFA last year will know Wang was unbelievable in game. I need to start playing FIFA. You should. Yeah. Um, Wang was really good. I was surprised when he got to move to Wolves. I was thinking to myself, that's the mad one, but Neto got injured, so they needed a, they needed a replacement. Yeah, he's very good, and I'm I'm delighted for him. I have to say, I'm delighted for Jimenez as well. He's he's been playing very well. But the equaliser was it the equaliser. It was the equaliser. It was the equaliser. Yeah. Beautiful. Uh, the keeper comes out. <laughs> oh my god! I think it's what's the name? Sao again or Sa? Uh, Sa. No? Sa. Orlando yeah. Sa. Sa <laughs> comes out. It was goal to clear the ball. It it somehow catapults to Hendrick. And it's just a beautiful strike. He almost misses. <laughs> Jeffrey. Jeffrey. A great goal from yeah. Jeffrey, all the same. And then Huang got the winner. He caps it off. Lovely left footed finish. And yeah. almost. They were very similar goals, actually. A mirror image of yeah, each other. Yeah, yeah, they were good goals, though. Just clinical, though. True yeah. legs. Like. Big fan of them, I have to say. I hope. Uh, I genuinely think Wolves. I know. I think I had Wolves to go down, didn't I? Yeah. That, I don't think that'll happen anymore, to be honest with you. I had Wolves going down on the basis of Spurs signing. Adama and Jimenez um, obviously that didn't happen but yeah I think Wolves be be, be alright uh, yeah on. I'm just going to move on quick to Brian Arsenal not, not much to talk about uh, clashing mid-table teams my rival is now more Brighton you ever see that video <laughs> I sent in the chat yesterday yeah. and, and it'll all be between Brighton and you Arsenal should put that clip <laughs> this clip is going to be inserted right now that's a great clip mm. I mean it's so confusing with Arsenal what is their level at this stage um, I don't know but in it all I thought Brighton looked like they had the better of the chances and it was a rainy night rainy yeah. night in Brighton and I heard Don Robbie on ASTV blaming the rain Robbie imagine blaming the rain after That's slagging cheek, doesn't he? he slagged Ty for blaming the rain a few years ago we can call this Daniel Mate and Ty Derby can't we yeah that's it that's it basically in it all it is it's what it is a terrible game for yeah over. Sunday game we'll move on to the Sunday game <laughs> da, da, da. Yeah. You shouldn't have said the Sunday game. I wouldn't have done that if you hadn't said it. <laughs> I love the that. Sunday games. Um, yeah, you know, I only seen the Brentford and uh, Liverpool game. So I'll go gonna, for Palace. You, you go for Palace and Leicester. I think Palace Vardy scored, didn't he? It was great. It was a great game of football. Vardy got the goal. I think. Look, I think Palace for dominating possession again. Which is very surprising. Paddy, Paddy Vieira doing bits. Yeah, and he was in his Palace jacket again this week, oh, by the way. No. He's back wearing the jacket. Yeah, back wearing the jacket. Whoopsie. And he got a draw. Mm. Um, but it was they were 2 0 down. Ian Nacho and Vardy both scored. Two great strikers, by the way. Mm. Um and they play very well with each other. Yeah. Very, very well with each other. Sorry, go on. They they have some nice chemistry going, but Vardy is just in great form. I think he's top four again, mm. is he? Yeah. He's just gone under the radar completely. He's like a fine wine. Genuine. Yeah. I know that's trying about a lot, but he genuinely is. Yeah. Like a fine wine. But Leicester in general are doing pretty badly. I think they're 13th at the moment going into this international break. They let me down on Thursday for 48 grand. Yeah, I put a five on about. Now, it was them along with a few other teams, but they were the first one to let me down. It was the early kickoff. And as Gandhi said, Never bet in the early kickoff. <laughs> so yeah, I'm glad they're doing poorly. 
Palace came back and Schlupp. Oh, Elise, is that his name? Elise, yeah. yeah, yeah. And Schlupp as well got the Schlupp, header. Schlupp, it was the scrappiest goal ever, by the way. Schlupp against was. his former club, by the way. I'm in a giddy man. <laughs> and then Spurs Villa was a 2 1 win for Spurs. Mm. Good goal by Horbjörg and Son as goat, but I have written down here. Yeah, I love Young. Uh, young Min Son. Yeah. Was that what you'd say? A good week for the Koreans. Great week for Huang and Son. It was just the way you said that. You were so serious. <laughs> like, it's been a great week for the Koreans, hasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Come here. It Sorry. always is. I should bring the partition into the South Koreans. Yeah. <laughs> I should be oh politically God. correct. <laughs> A great week for the South Koreans. Oh, Huang and Son. Huang and Son. Great week for them. Huang I think Son was man of the match in that game. And mm. then... And was... Son's a great player, by the way. I yeah. think... I know Kane gets a lot of plaudits and rightfully so, top scorer every season, whatever. But I genuinely think... I, I would quicker have Son than Kane at Liverpool. Yeah. I don't know whether you'd be the same. I suppose it'd be a bit different. Well, the way Kane's playing at the moment, I'd rather have anyone instead of yeah, Kane. Yeah, true. Very true. <laughs> but yeah, uh, Hungman, Son, what a player. Yeah. And that was 2-1. Spurs back on track, I suppose. Mm. Um, Brentford versus West Ham. A London derby. Great game There's for Brentford. so many London derbies, isn't there? Yeah. Christ. Great game for Brentford. Yeah, I'm buzzing for them, I have to say. Mo- yeah. Bueno. Bueno. Bueno got the early goal. Did you Bre- see it? Great pass by Tony, by the way. Yeah, oh, he's, he's playing really well, isn't he? He has, he has it all around. Mm. Um, He'll fit in nicely at Liverpool next year. <laughs> I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep saying this until it happens. So you may as well just get used to it. <laughs> and Bowen as well, great goal from the corner. Yeah, came Jared, out Jared to Bowen, yeah, whacked yeah. it. That time I think he, I don't think he scored the season, so it was, it was nice. From and score. then obviously Wissa with yeah. the 90 the minute plus four. I think this was a great goal. As you well. and Wissa, I was cracking goal. It Poor defending by last time now. Came out to him free, mm. just free. I don't know he was free. Well, the, it, lo- it sounds to me like the tourist and I hangover of uh, Europa League football struck. In both Leicester and West Ham, because um, Leicester usually would expect them to be Palace and then West Ham losing at home to Brentford. Bit of yeah. a mad one, but uh, poor defending, but great, great finish by Wissa. Really it. was. And the celebration. Yeah, yeah. Like I'm Hannah. a big fan of him. Big, yeah. big fan of him, I have to say. He's just come out of the blue. But yeah, he's oh, brilliant. No, yeah, he's a cracking player, though. Um, and that was the 94 minute winner from Wissa to make a 2 1 to Brentford. Mm. And I'm going to pass it over to Addy for Liverpool versus City, the, I suppose, the highlight of the week. The highlight of the weekend, yeah. yeah it was, I, I, do you know what? We looked at Chelsea and City last week and we kind of sat here and we we kind of talked about it a lot because City, Liverpool and Chelsea, they're going to be, I know United as well, but City, Liverpool and Chelsea in particular are the three teams that I'll be challenging for properly in my opinion. And the Chelsea game was a bit of an enigma because I felt Chelsea didn't turn up yeah. for the most part. Um, City did turn up and they, you know, they were unbelievable. But they only got the one goal away in London. Um, today was a different story. They turned up. They got the two goals. We got two goals. Um, that second half is as good a game of football as you'll likely see. Great game. Um, four goals in the one there. Mm. Um, yeah, cracking game of football. And really, really happy for um, Mane getting on score sheet. I said to you yourself, Rory, Sen and Dave. I think Mane, the best thing for Mane at the minute would probably be a spell on the sideline. For me, I'd love to see Jota, Firmino and Salah play in front for a few games. But he's proven himself today. He's very good today. The goal was well taken. His movement was good. He looks, the second half, he looked really sharp, actually. Yeah. Thought first half, he was a bit um, nonchalant. He didn't really want, it looked it looked at times like, he gave the ball away three or four times, needlessly. Second half, really, really good. Salah's goal, touch on it real quick. Well, I won't touch on it real quick. I'm going to bask in his glory. <laughs> um, ball into Salah and he just, Jesus Christ, what a touch to get past Cancelo takes a past Laporte and hits with his right foot now anyone who says Mo Salah has a bad foot he hasn't the fella hasn't got a bad ball in his body that was a cracking goal for me look at so far this season we've had a lot of good goals it's my goal this season so far yeah Um, just a great great goal and City just got back into it again Foden's goal was great as well after Mane's the De Bruyne goal you could be angry at Liverpool for not getting out as quick as they, what they probably could have and what they should have mm-hmm. Takes the flexion off Matip and in the goal it goes. But cracking game of football. Um, you're looking at probably the two best teams in the league playing there. And I'm thankfully that's the result of it. Yeah, you had you had some great words there until the last two where you said the two best teams in the league. So I think. Well, I suppose you're right. But I, I, <laughs> I, I want to include us in the I disagree, <laughs> but you're right. <laughs> I have my tinfoil hat on. 
Oh, um, it's the blue tinted glasses. <laughs> you don't leave the house without them. Oh, what's he doing? I think we have something to say about uh, this year. I think oh, definitely. We'll no, get in the no, conversation. Definitely. And the top four, I'm going to read out the top four because it is, as I say, getting into the meat and potatoes, I suppose. Chelsea top on 16, Liverpool 15, City on 14, Manchester United on 14 as well, and Everton on 14, and Brighton on 14. Man, Brentford on 12. That's very good. Um, yeah. United and Everton. So Chelsea... <laughs> <laughs> goal of the week ah Mo Salah without a doubt without, without a doubt it's Mo's goal Mo's goal is the best goal that week I would have gave it to Mo Salah but I'm going for Wissa because oh, okay. I've gone for Salah for God of the week okay. so I've given Wissa the goal and I've given Salah the God because I thought Salah's performance was brilliant <clears throat> I'd never seen a, oh, well I'm not going to say I'd never seen such a great performance but this weekend he was by far the best, yeah. Um, the best player. Mm. Um, I thought for the first goal, he was amazing, dribbling past. Don't know who it was Cancelo, was it? Cancelo and then Laporte. Yeah, it's just fantastic. And the second goal, don't get me started. As as he said, contender for for goal of the month anyway, if not goal of the season. Mm. So I'm going to goal of the week, Salah. You goal of the week. Um, on the premise of being unbiased, I'll give it to Wang. Wang. Just for his two I was going to give it to Wang as well. Wang was great. I was going to give it to Salah as well, but we like things to be different. Yeah. We? And then we move on. Yeah. To everyone's favourite part of the week. It's Friday evening. You get home. There's no meat. There's no potatoes. There's no chicken. Because there is... This fella Ronaldo is a cod. And our cod of the week this week is... James Ward-Prowse. James Ward-Prowse for absolutely taking the ankle off Jorginho. <laughs> what was he doing? What was he doing? I see that Gary Breen was on commentary for Premier Sports and he said it's one of them high risk, high rewards. That's not high risk. It is high risk, sorry. it's. I suppose it actually is high risk and high reward. But he nearly decapitated Jorginho by the tackle. Um, and also took his team out of the game while doing it. Yeah. And then when the ref was whipping out the red, he was literally like, fair enough, yeah. I'm after killing him there, yeah. Go, send me off, yeah. Go on, go uh, for send it. Send his leg in the post. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on this week to our Hall of Fame. The Hall of Fame this week is going to be contested between the two Jorgens. I'm going to go with Jorgen Klopp for his agenda against people who aren't vaccinated. And I think it's a bit of a weird thing. To, like, it came out in the press. It was like, um, we are all vaccinated. That's a horrible accent. Sorry, Jorgen. Um, but I think 99% of the Liverpool team is vaccinated. I think that's what he was saying. But the uptake of vaccinations in the Premier League is seemingly very low. I think there's only four or five teams with nearly full capacity vaccinated. But um, yeah, I'll go with Jorgen for his agenda against people who aren't vaccinated. Anti-vaxxers versus Jorgen Klopp. That's what I'm going for. And I take Jorgen Klopp's side. Okay. I have another Jorgen from the Black Forest here. <laughs> Jorgen from the Great British Bake Off. The way you said that, it was as if he was going to come into the room. I have Jorgen here with me. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine. I'd love to get Jorgen on the podcast. One of them. <laughs> we'll have him, will we? <laughs> yeah, but I've nominated Jorgen from the Bake Off. Oh God, what a man. What a man. He's, he just adds a bit of character to the show. He's star baker two weeks in a row. What more can you want? The master baker. <laughs> he him from the Black Forest. <laughs> he actually cooked Black Forest ghetto and everything, or cooked, baked. Stop saying ghetto. It's not, it's a gateau. Gateau, sorry. No, he's not, he's, it's not like... Oh, Black Forest gateau, Adam. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, it's not a ghetto. A ghetto in the ghetto. Johnny Cash there. Hit him with a little ghetto gasp. <laughs> Shout out to Tupac. <laughs> but anyway, I've gone for Jürgen for his brilliant bacon in the Great British Bake Off and ads he's gone for. Jürgen Klopp for his agenda against anti-vaxxers. I'm so, talking to you. I'm talking to your man on Facebook sharing things about people who are vaccinated. That's not true. That's who Jürgen's against. The two Jürgen's, everyone. Give it a vote on our Instagram. They're much better than the two Johnnies. Anyways. <laughs> Moving on, everybody, to our Euro trash, Euro treasure, Cran. My Euro trash this week. Paris Saint Germain losing 2 0 to Rennie after beating City. What's yeah. that about? 
You know, yeah. they lost the league already. They don't want to lose it again. You know <laughs> what I mean? They lost the league last year. Yeah. And they just lose to Ren after beating City. Mad game. Mad result for Ren. By the yeah. way, 2-0. Um, I didn't expect it at all. No. Really mad. They have great fans though, don't they? The Ren fans. Yeah, I think they have a few ultras. Well, a lot of the European, top European sides lost this week. Like, I don't want to, I don't want to move on to my Euro trash already. Go unless for it. I finish. Go for it. Is Bayern Munich. They lost 2-1 to Eintracht Frankfurt. And I had a Euro treasure for a period because... I like seeing Bayern Lewis. I hate this dominance that they have. But um, Euro trash because they lost. and um, a surprising result. Eintracht getting the win 2 1. Goretzka scoring the 30th minute. And Hinteregger scored two minutes later to make it 1 all to Eintracht. And then Kostic got the winner in the 83rd minute. Oh, he's a great player. Yeah, I really rate Kostic. Mm. And uh, yeah, good win for Eintracht Frankfurt. No. Oh, what a goal! Oh my god, I'm sorry, Cran. I'm sorry. Is that the Vix merchant? That is the Vix merchant. Oh my days. We were actually, we're, as we said, we're recording this in the gaff and we have Milan and Atalanta on. Atalanta losing 3 0. I'm quite upset at that now, I'm not going to lie. In Burger. And when you see this for a goal, Rafa Leo, I hope it counts. I hope it's not ruled out with VAR. The Jenny f- Wiley probably goal the weekend. See, ever since he got the Vix up his nose, he's scoring a lot of goals. Yeah, he was actually quite pleased. He enjoyed that Vix up the nose, but it looks like we're going to do a quick commentary on this goal. We have to. There he is celebrating with his jersey, doing the jersey thing. Oh, ah, yeah. Lifting up. There's the Milan fans going 90. What a goal. Here we go. Comes to. Gee, I don't know. I don't know that is now. Some looks Chilean or something. Anyways, into midfield. <laughs> this, oh, that's Hernandez, actually. Never mind. Hernandez breaking into midfield at the Atalanta defence. Pops it into Leo. Oh, oh, what a goal. Your Euro trash, treasure this week, sorry. That's a Leo. No. <laughs> that Will I go? Okay. Yeah, yeah. There you go. It makes it, it makes that that time we talked about worth it. Be fair. Yeah. I'm gonna go. What my your treasure is Raphael Leo for that brilliant, that goal, brilliant goal that just happened. And I hope the, I hope the commentary works as well. Like it's a wet and rainy night in Bergamo. Um, Milan are bringing on two subs now. I hope I hope the description was good. Three nil to Milan against Atlanta. Milan. Crack result. Raphael Leo is my Euro treasure. As he. My Euro treasure this week comes from uh, Madrid. In the Champions League, losing 2-1 to Sheriff away. There's a new Sheriff in town. Benzema got a goal in the 98th minute. Or 60, 65th minute. Jesus, excuse me. 98th minute. How that, dare that'd you? be mental, wouldn't it? 65th minute, Benzema got an equaliser after. Hold on, let me get the notes out for this one. What a name. Genie Mac. Yakish Abeyev got the first goal for Sheriff. And your man that you're actually, you were going to put him in the Hall of Fame, weren't you? Yeah. What's his name? Till. Sebastian Till. Sebastian what Till. What a hit on his left. The 90th minute goal. And he, great story now. He, I think he has, a, he has a tattoo on his leg of him dreaming of Champions League and all. So, great story for Sheriff. Um, and he's from Luxembourg, I believe. Yeah, seemingly so. I don't want to say I was right or I told you so. But to anyone listening, I did predict Sheriff would go through. And they find themselves top of the league at the minute. We're so top of the league. <laughs> <laughs> top of the league. No, they, no, 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 no. They won't last, I would Seriously, say. though, they did look good in qualifiers. Yeah. They look they great. Did. They look very good. And I, I seen a lot of Dundalk fans saying, oh, we beat Sheriff, we did this, we did that. The seemingly the team that Sheriff had then is completely turned over now. So it's like, I mean, it's completely irrelevant saying they beat them, to be honest. But and according to Senan, they're all in the mafia. According to, according to Senan, uh, did you guys hear about Sheriff? They're all in the mafia, which probably isn't true, to be fair. Let's point that out because I don't want to get haunted by the mafia. <laughs> and this week's Get It Out. Get It Out is about jerseys this week. Something that I love, to be honest. I know you love them as well. I love the jerseys pages that you have. Yeah, I might have to, might have to revive that. I just yeah. don't have time for it anymore. To be honest, it's still there. It's still alive and kicking. For anyone who wants to look at Luscious Jerseys, at Just Jerseys on Instagram. Um, yeah, so this week, I think it was, I actually think it was Rory that sent it in a while ago. Sent in this about jerseys. I think a few people said, I think, geez, I think Ian said, I think Dave said, a few people said it. Nice. <clears throat> so this week, we're going to do our top five jerseys of this season. Yeah. So what do you think? And this includes all of Europe as well. Yeah. Because I, I made that happen. Cause as you well, said, I have all the world now, to be honest. Yeah. I have a team from Brazil here. Oh, ah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Will we jump Do you want into to go it? number five. My number five. I'm gonna give it to Spurs, believe it or not. And I wouldn't give number five to Spurs very easily because mm. I don't like Spurs. No, we don't. So their jersey is lovely though. I couldn't, I couldn't mm. resist the spacey kit, mm. spacey blue, mm. nice little away number. Yeah, it's beautiful. Now, to be fair, um, it's very nice. Mm. 
It's I'll, actually it's gorgeous, like you no, know, I'm not I'm not even shitting you, it's lovely. It's my number one, like spoiler mm. alert, it's my number one. Yeah. So if you want to talk about it a bit later on, we can. It's lovely. I just uh, I have nothing else to say. Well I go to my number five. Yeah, maybe you'll post a few of the jerseys on Instagram. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. I have yeah, I'll post all of them on Instagram. Yeah. I have I let go Minero's home kit. I don't know if you've seen this. I haven't know. Made by the beautiful Le Coq Sport. Sportif. <laughs> French. I think That's they're French. Off, no, did you never hear yeah, them? Yeah, yeah, I know. I know what, what you're trying to do. What? I'm not trying to do anything. It's Le Coq Sportif. <laughs> That's what it's called. <laughs> you relax, will it? Looks like it's half nine on Friday were, evening. You were dying today. Oh, that. it's not who makes it. It has a little, it has a little chicken on the crest on the sponsor lake. Anyways, the jersey's proper old school color, grey, white, uh, gold. Oh, it's beautiful, beautiful. The crest is nice. Um, is a is a black crest. It's a beautiful crest. The um, the jersey itself is like a cream gold kind of color, and on the jersey is a map of Brazil. And it's VAR, great, like, VAR going on here. See the way it says VAR room. What's going on? Oh, that's a penalty all day. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Let's Go Mineiro's old school jersey with the map of Brazil. Gold, grey, cream, white is my number five. Well, wow. Your number four. My number four, I'm going to give it to Port all the way. Nice little black number. Okay. Um, Just plain black. Mm. It's very nice. Um, Not much to say. I like the classic black kit. Mm. I think there's something about it that just drives over the edge. Yeah, I like yeah. the minimalistic. Uh, yeah, I think it's it's very slick looking, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's just something I want Chelsea to have, and they never have it mm. nowadays. But a uh, lovely kit for Porto. They are shit houses, though. Mm. I'd like to have been awarded this penalty by the way as a part. I'll take. I'll just move on number quick to number four. My number four is the pink Barcelona away kit. Ah, yeah, beautiful, beautiful the pink. pink Panther. Yeah, yeah. Pink and then the crest is like a uh, purple color. Oh, beautiful! It's actually sexy. It's it's lovely looking. It's a cracking jersey. Um, I have nothing else to say in it, but it's, the jersey itself is better than the team and the franchise at the minute. But <clears throat> gonna do a little commentary on this penalty. The part is the part is gonna take this. Can you see it? Ninety one on the jersey. That's a big question. Yeah, it is a big question. To be fair, but he's a good player. Atalanta aren't in the new FIFA, by the way. What? Yeah, no, they, they didn't get the rights for. It. All the players are, of course, but the crest isn't. Here we go. Right. Duvan Zapata. Us time, against, what's your man's name? He was, was he with Lil? Go on, Duvan. Oh, it's a good penalty. 3-1. 3-1. Let's hope they get back into it. It'll be interesting end to the podcast. What a game. Yeah, yeah, so he wants the ball back. Give him the ball back. You're number four. Oh, you said you're number yeah, four. You're number n- three. Sorry, Cran. My number three. I'm going to go for the Inter home kit. Okay. I think it's lovely. Sp- uh, split... Um, it divided opinion, didn't it? Yeah. I I do like the New little crest. fiery sort of design yeah, 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 in the middle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um and I, I do like the dark blue. Dark blue is something that I do like. Yeah. So there's something about dark colours <laughs> on jerseys that are just nice, you know? Yeah, yeah, you're not wrong. And uh yeah. I'm gonna go for the inter home. Good choice. Yeah. My tour jersey is actually a home jersey as well. Is Ajax of Amsterdam. Old skill kit, white round neck. The white round neck is beautiful on it, like a white, ah, oh, beautiful, and a classic crest, which I don't think is done enough. I love classic crests. Yeah, this is like an old vintage Ajax crest on a brand new jersey. The Adidas on it is white as well. It goes against the grain of the jersey. It's a beautiful jersey to be honest. And when Sebastian Haller is wearing it, it looks even better. What a player! <laughs> what a goal scorer! Four goals in Champions League debut. Unbelievable, Bill. Unbelievable, Jeff. Oh, yeah, you're number three. You're number two. Jeannie Mac, we're behind. We're speeding. We're past the speed limit now. I let it go away. The blue one. The blue one with the like round, round uh, red and white. Yeah, yeah. Something about it. Yeah, there's something. It's about just it. different. Yeah, and I like the. the it's like us. <laughs> <laughs> we're different in many other ways. <laughs> <laughs> many abstract ways. But uh, this is a lovely jersey. I love the color, mm. the white red color. Mm. It's something distinguishable, yeah, and nice. You know, big family. You know, I would get one. I think I would get one. Yeah, it's not about chasing it. It's not about jersey at all now. It's actually the home one. I like the home one. I let go have as well. It's a bit different, yeah. but um, yeah, good choice, Cram. Mm. Number two, my number two, and I suppose your is your number one a Chelsea jersey. No, really, I hate the Chelsea jerseys. Well, wow, that's interesting because my oh, number yes. two is Liverpool's away jersey. 
you know the one that has a button up neck oh that's nice though it is nice I think it's like it's oh, nice. yeah really nice jersey Um, I think it's it's based off an old Liverpool ch- jersey that I have upstairs actually it's actually my prized possession believe it or not yeah um, I think 95, 96, 94, 95 Awake Cream it's actually called Ecro or RQ or something it's a type of it's a shade of cream beautiful I grew up on the town side the New York town side staying alive was no lie cream <laughs> <laughs> we tank clan yeah I know I know I know I get it I thought I was sitting in I thought I was sitting with the Wu Tang clan there when you were oh, saying yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got the words completely wrong, yeah, but it was know. worth it. <laughs> it was worth it. You see an opportunity you took it. Yeah. But yeah, the new jersey's based off the old one. Cream, I think it's like green colour. We planned to make cream. Yeah. It failed. But yeah. Went to jail at the age of sixteen, a young buck. Selling drugs and stuff. We never had much. <laughs> <laughs> You're number one jersey because I can't keep talking about this kid. <laughs> There ain't no such thing. <laughs> <laughs> My number one goes to Byron. Away. Oh, the I love, Oktoberfest kid. I love it. It's black again. Black and gold. Glad something about black and gold, Andy. Mm. I want it. I want it. I want Chelsea to have one. And I don't. Chelsea's Why? Yellow. I like Chelsea's yellow. Uh, it's yellow right. and black. It wouldn't do it for me now. But there's something about this Byron Munich kit. I have an Ireland one that's similar. It's like gold, black. Yeah, yeah, trend. Type. And it's it just works. It yeah. just works. It's nice. Gold and black are my favourite colours on jerseys ever. And right. I was so annoyed when Chelsea won the Champions League. There was no gold edition, you know. Oh, yeah. That's so annoying. Yeah, it is actually quite annoying. Yeah. Because bring... even Liverpool, when we won the Champions League, we brought the gold crest out for the season after. Yeah. That we then went on to win the Premier League. And... Well, yeah, that's my number one. I'm yeah. a bit salty at Chelsea jersey, by the way. No my my number one is, we said already, it's the Spurs away one. I fucking love it. Yeah. And it's another one of them that avoids opinion. It's an absolute piece. It's a work of art. Like, I think it's beautiful. So different. And Spurs have done it for a few years where they just have a mad jersey. And I love the purple, the navy, the, like, lime green, yellow. Is that what you describe it? Yeah. Yeah, beautiful. It's beautiful just, a, a, yeah, it, I describe it as, you know, splashing paint all over the place. Yeah. And having it on the jersey. <laughs> it's Da Vinci and Van Gogh's yeah, love child on a it's, jersey. It's a great jersey. I really like it, I have to say. And Raphael's after being sent off, I think. Oh, for God's sake. For kicking the ball away. First yeah. the Vicks up to now, then we sent off. It's a cracking jersey. And we'll leave it with that, will we? We'll sign off now. I think yeah. we run through the ghetto again. Yeah, go for it. Top five. I let go Monero home. Barça pink away jersey. Sexy it is. There's a, there's a dog. <laughs> Ajax home jersey Liverpool away jersey cream and Spores away beautiful kit yourself number 5 I've gone for Porto away or sorry <laughs> you want Spores away number 5 I've gone yeah, for just for anyone listen right I'm looking at crowds notes here <laughs> he has them all written mixed up <laughs> so I'll probably remember which ones you said right I'll go for it I'll go for it yeah okay Number five, I've gone for Spurs away. Number four, I've gone for Port away. Number three, I've gone for Inter home. Number two, I've gone for Let Go away. And number one, I've gone for Bayern away. Okay. That was rough. That was rough. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, the Atlanta Milan game finishing up here. I think it's going to be three. Yeah, one. it's kind of teeter out now, isn't it? Three one Milan. Good watch during the pod. Yeah, we've made it go through quick, didn't we? Yeah. yeah. And I have to say, it's been an absolute pleasure. As always, just getting back. You know. Yeah. In person, it's much oh, better. Oh, the guys for it. Oh, no, I no. just enjoy it a lot more, and I hope you have enjoyed it as well. As yeah, much I, I, I have enjoyed. I know you talk about the people listening, but I've yeah. enjoyed this as much as I have on Zoom. I hate, I hate Zoom so much, and the audio hasn't been too bad. Oh, hold on! Oh, score! Oh, it's three two! Oh my god, there's a minute left. It's like red zone in NFL. We can't finish there. Sorry, it just. Oh, is it gonna give it? Has it? Yeah, it's three two. It's three two. Some unknown reason. Yeah, we'll leave it there, will we? Yeah, three two to Milan. Three two to Milan. There. This, this rambled on for far too long. Please follow the Instagram. Follow the Spotify. Follow the socials. Spread it to your mates. Tell your mate you love the podcast. Tell your ma you love her as well. Yeah. That's yeah. a, I'm a big advocate for that. I swear, I'm not even messing with you. I'm yeah, being no. very serious. If, if, tell your mother you love her. Give her a hug. And everything will be alright. And we'll leave it there so. We'll leave it there so. <laughs>